Greetings and salutations, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Right, today's video is gonna be just another little sort of fly on the wall, a uh, little vloggy video through the day. I'm gonna be picking the camera up every now and again. Um, we're doing some stuff today. As you know, I've got Michelle and Steve both staying with me uh, over Christmas. And today we're gonna to be doing a live stream on Steve's channel. Uh, and we're gonna be making, what we're we gonna be making, Steve? We're making uh, a Christmas tree tear and share. It's a Nutella yes. Christmas tree tear and share loaf. And 70 grams of sugar. Notes. So we're using 70 grams. So about an hour away now from the, uh, the start of the live stream. Just had a little tidy up of the kitchen, just got everything set out, so ready to go. Got some new lighting. Um, I've been using uh, this type of lighting if ever I do anything in my kitchen, and it's a bit rubbish. Um, it's only got a single bulb. In fact, the bulb is missing on this one because it got a new bulb should be arriving today. Um, but normally I've been using, uh, this is the other one. This will be coming from the side, but you can see that bulb in there. Um, it's okay but it's only about 140 watts and it doesn't throw the light out very far. So if I was to turn this on here the light would sort of reach about here and then it would start dropping off. Um, so anyway we decided I want to get some better lighting uh, so we've gone for this thing which is there's 1500 and something LEDs in here and uh, this is a I can't remember, the, it's called an Aperture Light Storm and it's just got a really amazing throw of light. This is on 50% at the moment and already the room is perfect, but you can go right up to 100%, which is essentially daylight and it lights all the way to the back of the kitchen, uh, which is really good. Although it's a little bit, it's a little bit dazzling to um, be sitting in front of. Um, we have got some diffusing material we can use, but we were experimenting yesterday uh, with it. Um, but it's a really cracking little light, and um, I'm sort of hoping to use that in future videos if ever I do anything indoors or in the kitchen. Got my festive attire on, little um, Christmassy waistcoat. Uh, I thought I'll wear a black shirt this time to match the red t shirt. <laughs> So we've still got a little while to go. We've still got over half an hour to go. It's just killing time. <laughs> well, he's just taken it out of the oven and it's all... Not out of the oven, it's a proofing, it's a proofing oven. Okay, take a look at this. We wanted it to at least double in size. Come in close, look, 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 look. Oh, wow, my favorite Beautiful. detail. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is really good, actually. That's, um. It's looking really... Yeah, it did come like, up a little higher than we expected it to. A bit of string cheese going on there. But yeah, but it. we can get that off quite easily. Um, My favourite tea towel. <laughs> oh, it looks amazing. It's, it's Rick's favourite tea towel. <laughs> oh no, or is this your, uh -huh. your favourite tea No, it's towel? definitely that one. Oh, I, can one <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. Good day everybody and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen with Rick. Come and say hello Rick. Oh, hello Rick, Ricky. Hello Rick. Rick and I are here like a couple of Christmas elves. We're actually... One, two, laying it down. On my video on YouTube, I actually speed this up. So uh, one, two, I can probably just about get away with two on that. Oh, ready to go. Look at that everybody. It looks amazing. 
overhead cam. Oh, it's a little bit hard. This is so nice, it actually tastes as good as it looks. So it's been quite a successful uh, live stream. And it's been really good that Steve managed to cook that um, on a live stream, sort of live, obviously on a live stream. <laughs> um, but um, I, I was actually very impressed that it all turned out exactly as it should have. And uh, yes, it is so, so yummy. And I haven't cooked it for five years. Oh, right, okay. Now you've heard it here first. <laughs> That's a rubbish thing to say. Um, so if you actually want to make this um, for yourself. Insert photo here. Insert photo, <laughs> yeah. Like a... Yeah, you don't want to make this, but you want to make something just like it. Um, Steve had actually done a video five years ago um, where he, I think it's one, like, I think we mentioned it before, it's one of his most popular videos, uh, but it's over on Steve's channel and you can't miss it. You just type in um, Nutella, Steve Nutella bread. Steve Nutella bread, there we go. And uh, there's a how to video. So, um, yeah, if you fancy having a go at making one, and I can see me making some of that later on in the year as well, so that'll be good. Right, we're thinking about some dinner tonight now. Uh, I think we got. Steak and chips again. You're doing steak. Oh, I'm doing the steak this time. Yes. Now a little while back, um, I went through a phase of eating lots of ribeye steaks. Now I was flash frying them in the pan, and they were always coming out like leather boots. They were rubbish, and it kind of put me off ribeye steak after a while. But a few nights ago, uh, a certain person here taught me how to cook steak properly, and it made all the difference. It was only subtle differences, but. The steaks were just like the ones I remember that we used to get whenever we went off to the steakhouse, um, you know, with family to have a meal out, and we had these amazing steaks. And we had an amazing steak a few days, a few days ago. Like steaks that were cooked by a top class chef. Like somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> um, but we're going to have a go tonight, and I'm going to attempt to cook the steak under close supervision because I want to get it right. I don't want to ruin the steaks, but. Um, if I can pull off cooking a steak properly, I shall be a happy bunny. So we shall see. But we're going to get cracking with that now, aren't we? Pretty much. In insert so. bunny overlay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows what a happy bunny looks like. So I've just set the camera up. I'm going to attempt to cook these steaks. If you don't like seeing bloody steaks, might be a good, to good time to turn off now um, because here they come. Okay, so here we have three ribeye steaks. I've got to get the heat on. We've got steak and Nutella bread. Oh, my world's been really good today. <laughs> and I think we've got some chips on the way and some nice veg as well. Go for mixed veg. Is it cooked up all right? Yep. Yeah. I forgot to film the end bit. Okay, so this is the finished meal. Sort of slightly started. I'm gonna come from that side, Rick, because you're gonna see how beautifully cooked he's done that steak. Look at that, so proud of him. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. That's exactly how I like my steaks. So I'm very happy with that. You happy with yours? Oh, very, very happy. Brilliant. Perfect, Rick. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm now the official steak cooker in this house. <laughs> right, we're going to eat. Right, that's it. We just finished dinner. Absolutely gorgeous dinner. Really enjoyed that. Steak was just absolutely... I'm so pleased I was able to cook a steak and it not be like a, an old rubber boot. So thank you, Steve, for <laughs> showing me how to do that. You're and welcome, uh, I shall certainly uh, remember how to do that and I shall have more practice very, very soon. So I'm just going to settle down. We've had a lovely meal. It's been a good day today, good productive day, lots done. And uh, I'm just going to settle down with a nice cup of coffee, mug of coffee, decaf in the evenings. I don't do cough caffeinated apart from first thing in the morning. And a nice little bit of that tear and share Nutella bread. And that's me done for the evening. And I'm just going to chill out now, sit on the sofa, maybe watch a bit of, uh, what are we watching at the moment? Sat uh, we have been watching. Um, oh, come dine with me. Come isn't dine it? with me. Yeah. Yes. 
I'm get, getting quite hooked on that. So this is, this is what happens when foodies come into your life. You end up watching food programs and learning how to cook food and enjoying really good food. So all good. And I love my food. So perfect. <laughs> So anyway, that's it, I think, for this video. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, um, but it, it is whatever it is. And if you got this far, thanks for hanging in there. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.